another jewelry craft with the craft clay. And again, this is by Envirotex. And if you have any problems finding any of their products, go to www.eti-usa.com. And that's their website, and they have a listing of where you can find it worldwide. So anyhow, it comes in Part A and Part B. And you want to take enough, well, you want to take an equal part of both A and B. Roll it in your hands to a ball shape. And you could put, depending on um, how it's all reacting, you can, on your gloves, which they do recommend that you use gloves, you can either put um, like a talcum powder or like an olive oil on there. And I've done both. Um, I did actually like a little cornstarch on this time. I have a little too much of that, so I'll put it back. Fill it up again until they look pretty even. Look pretty even to me, so I'll close these up. What you want to do is you want to mix them, mix them, mix them until there are no streaks of either color left. It's one solid color. And I'm going to be working on this bezel and I have some Swarovski crystals and I had meant to buy the ones that have the pointy backs but I bought the flat backs and that should work just fine as well. Okay, I have it all mixed and it's all an even color. All I'm going to do is roll it into a ball and I'm going to just start patting it down. And the nice thing about this clay is that you don't need any additional adhesive because it does stick on its own and the two parts the A and the B together create a some kind of a chemical reaction and then it'll harden like it's, it's some kind of a resin clay so you want to kind of even it out on there and all I'm going to do is I'm going to take let me zoom in. I'm going to take some tweezers and I'm going to take my little crystals and kind of place them where I want them and then give them a little push in. You could be as random with colors or anything that you want. Just kind of do it any way, any way it moves you. Now when you have all of the crystals on, kind of give it a little push with your finger so that you know that they're all well attached and also to make sure that you haven't lost the shape that you were going for because I wanted this to be kind of mounded. You can certainly have it flat as well. So I'm kind of doing that, kind of giving it a little push to make sure everything is where it's supposed to be. Here it is. Now I am going to give it, it is supposed to dry to like a porcelain white which would be pretty but I have this micro powder, and I believe this is the Pearl X as well, and I'm going to, this is going to be a little bit shimmery, and I'm going to brush it over, and I'm going to leave, leave it on for 12 to 24 hours while it's curing. And I just want this to get into the areas between the crystals on the clay and it should stick right to the clay and it'll give it just a little bit of shimmer in between so it won't look so flat and that's it so I will leave this until tomorrow morning and then we will reveal it and see how it turned out here's the pendant and it has completely cured so all I'm going to do now is take a soft paintbrush and I'm going to just brush off any of the excess powder. So the powder brushes right off 
and it buffs up the, the crystals. And now you have this beautiful pendant. And look how it sparkles and shines. And the powder gives it a finished look in between on the clay. And now you have this beautiful pendant to wear. So I hope you like it. Hope you give it a try. Remember to rate, comment, and subscribe. If you have any questions on this or any of my other crafts, go to my website at www.craftclotch.com. And there's a tab that says Tutorials, and you can um, scroll right through them and find what you're looking for. And remember, any of the products, like this jewelry clay, if you can't find it, go to www.eti-usa.com, and they have a tab that I, I believe it says Buy, and it gives you a list of where it can be purchased internationally. So go there if you're having any trouble finding it. Otherwise, usually you can find it online or in the craft stores. So thanks again for watching. We'll see you next time, and happy crafting. Mm -hmm.